Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here, bringing you guys another video. And today, I know I've been gone for a week, I know, and I apologize, but I do have a valid excuse this time. I was actually extremely sick, and I mentioned in the last video that I was feeling sick, but man, the next day when I woke up, it got so much worse. I literally could not sleep for two days. I was going off like 48 hours of no sleep, maybe like a two hour nap in between. It was horrible. It was one of the worst sicknesses I've ever had in my life, but I'm finally over it, and I'm happy to be back and making videos. And of course, when I was sick, the craziest stuff in the community went down. Because, of course, when I'm feeling bad and can't make any videos, the community wants to go wild. So, literally like two days into being sick, there was the Ninja and Pokimane drama, which, you know, we always love. Ninja versus Pokimane, two of the biggest influencers. I could have got maximum clickbait on my videos, but of course, I was sick when that happened. And then... There was the news with Xbox buying Call of Duty, pretty much. Like, I was like, what the hell, man? But anyway, I did kind of want to get give my thoughts and opinions on that whole Xbox situation that's going on. And just, like, how I feel about it. So, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So, if you guys didn't know, which I'm pretty sure 99% of you watching this... Actually, I'm sure 100% of you watching this video now, but I'm just going to recap it. Microsoft is buying Activision, which is, like, one of the biggest things... I did not expect to happen like ever. You know, Activision was a pretty big company and I never thought Microsoft would buy it because Microsoft owned a lot already, but they made a power play and now they own Activision. Well, they don't own it yet, but pending approval, they're most likely going to be able to officially own them in like July of 2023 is what I'm hearing. So that's major news, but we're a little over a year away from that. But still, that is some pretty major big news and that has a lot of long lasting effects. Now, I know everyone was worried about exclusivity. Is Call of Duty going to be exclusive to Xbox? No, 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 no. They would lose so much money if they did that. And Microsoft, or Phil Spencer has actually already come out and said, no, we're not, we're not making Call of Duty exclusive. But there will be exclusivity something. But, like, they own so much now. They own WoW. They own Call of Duty. Like, they own Overwatch. You know, Microsoft made such a power play with this. And obviously this is going to affect Call of Duty in plenty of ways. So the major consensus right now, are two things that one Bobby Kotex going to leave once the deal goes through Bobby Kotex, the CEO of Activision, if you did not know, and that COD's going to move away from the yearly release cycle. So I have a couple things to say. One, it's about damn time. Bobby Kotex going to be gone. This guy is a piece of shit. That's all I'm going to say about it. Aside from the fact that he's horrible. We're happy that he's leaving. If he really does leave and um, all the terrible allegations that came out about the people at Activision, that happened under his watch. So, you know, just some food for thought on Bobby Kotek. But aside from that, back to the gaming stuff. Um, if COD moves away from the year, yearly release cycle, will it help the game? Now, everyone is unanimously like, of course, obviously, this is going to make the game so much better. Because the games aren't finished on launch. Now, I agree to an extent, right? One of the major things about Vanguard, why I think a lot of it wasn't play tested, was because they laid off a lot of QA testers. And we know how poorly QA testers are, were treated in the Call of Duty franchise. You know, everyone remembers that whole debacle with Black Ops 4 with a QA tester who got fired for going on his lunch break at a different time than what it was supposed to be. So there was that. We've heard for years they are overworked. And obviously Activision hasn't done anything about that. They really don't care. And then same thing with Infinity Ward and Raven and all that kind of stuff. Raven lost so many QA testers. It was wild. But that's a major like thing you know like qa testers are a huge part of the game and my, like obviously and I, I wouldn't even say that's just my opinion like they do so much for your game they test so much all these bugs that we as a community find qa testers are supposed to find and they all got laid off for the most part so i think if they hire a bunch of staff we may not even have to move away from a yearly release cycle now i'm not opposed to it like if we get a year break after the next call of duty which is rumored to be call of duty roman numeral modern warfare 2 um you know that that would be nice um i think it would definitely help with all the other games but you know if we really think about it back when they did have all these times to develop the games these games were still just they weren't even rushed they were just designed badly right but I personally believe that the main problem with COD isn't that it is on a yearly release. I think it's that they don't have enough employees or staff, so all the staff they do have are overworked, and they don't have enough people for all the positions that they have. So I personally believe that moving away from a yearly release cycle would definitely help the employees there now. 
I also think if they hired more employees, it would help the employees there now. You know, like making a massive AAA video game like COD takes a lot of work, a lot of time. So to think that you could just do it with a handful of QA testers, it's just mind blowing. And that's why Vanguard is the way that it is. But, you know, those are just my thoughts on it. Like, obviously, I don't know, man. Like, I think it would help if we moved away from the yearly release. But at the same time, like, we saw what some of the COD games were like when they had all that time. I just think maybe if they got more staff, it would make their job a lot easier. But honestly, I don't design these games. I don't know anything about game design. I don't make video games. So I, I couldn't be the I can I couldn't be the one to tell you, right? I would love to hear what these QA testers and what these employees for these, you know, Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Raven. I would love to hear what the employees have to say about all this. That is what I want to hear. What do they want? Now, I know the rumor is they want it moved from a yearly release cycle. So if that's what they want, man, go for it. Like, I don't mind, you know, waiting another year for a COD game. There are so many other games that I've been playing recently. Apex, Fortnite, Resident Evil. You guys know how I am about Resident Evil. Like, I can play Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Resident Evil 4 for a year. That's fine. Like, I don't mind. Plus, you know, I don't mind Black Ops Cold War, so I like the zombie maps on the game, so I don't mind playing that. So, you know, if we have to wait another year for COD, I will not complain one bit. I just want a finished game on launch. I also want a ranked play system, which no one's talking about that for some reason for Vanguard, but whatever. Um, I just want a finished game on launch. I want a completed game on launch for a change. Now, again, I have said I do like Vanguard multiplayer. I think it's fun, um, but I don't think it's... It's definitely not complete, right? Same thing with zombies, and I haven't played the campaign, so I don't know. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video today. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. I'm on that road to 650 subscribers. Let me know what you think about all the recent Call of Duty news down in the comments section below. What do you think about Xbox buying out Activision? What do you think about Xbox owning Call of Duty? Like, I think that's some major news right there. But uh, sorry again for my break. I already have gameplay lined up for my next video, so don't think this is going to be me dropping a video then leaving for another week. But I have more gameplay that I just got today, so we're definitely having some more videos in the near future. But anyways, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This is Austin, and I am out. Peace, guys.